Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Just quickly, uh, the gimmick was very loud, so it must be very nearby. Right? That's how that works, you normally. Normally. Probably like up here. Yep, there it is. But anyway, we've d done the last Team Star Base. So now, let's go ahead and go back to the Academy. Because that's where we need to go. To fight the last member of Team Star, or the, the, the Team Star boss. The big boss of Team Star. We have to be here at night though, so. I imagine we have to be at the, the inside the actual school itself, at the top, in the big fighting are arena. If, we, if there's gonna be somewhere for it, that's where I put it, so. Why was I turned like that? That was weird. There's Clive. Hello, Clive. Sup, Jeremy? Clive? Yep, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Haha! -ha! <gasps> I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranjo Academy. Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep my up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astound astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along! For, for real? Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So, Master Jeremy, now you know I'm the big boss, that means you're... It means there is just one thing left... ...to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. You were challenged by Director Clavel. Here we go. <laughs> I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall it, to a conclusion. I don't know. It didn't let me finish reading. Let's use Hurricane. Also, everyone gets to see this. Oh, and the frame, <laughs> low, low frame rate boy gets to walk through while we're fighting. Okay, defense against other moves. Interesting. Very interesting. That's fine. I'll just keep Hurricaning. We should be fine. Hello, people. Don't mind the battle that you're walking through. All my Pokemon. Abominus, no? I'm sure- I think fire's effective against that, right? I'm pretty sure. Skull Dirge Throw a Lava Partner. I know you can do it. Abominus, no? Snow Warning. Side of Snow. Oh boy. Torch Song. Nice. Special Attack Rose. Even though it doesn't sometimes. Poltergeist. Uh, uh, let's go with Golden Go. Because ghost versus ghost. I think that should be good, probably. Unless I'm mistaken what other types it has. This is not too bad so far. Shadow Ball. I'm actually doing a lot better than the other fight that I had. It probably would have made more sense to be at this level when I was fighting the other fight. With Arvin. Houndoom. Pro definitely want to switch this to Whiskash, I think. 
I'm getting better. Mostly because I'm leveled enough, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's go Earthquake. Dark Pulse. We're right. And they are holding on, still. Reflect, we're off. Okay, interesting. Can I thrash, or was it... Nope, Dark Pulse. We're still so holding on, there. Finish that off with a critical hit, even though we don't need it. Let's learn Memento. Well, this is the time for a Memento, I, I guess. Uh, user faints. In return, this target's attack and special attack stats are harshly lowered. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't need that. Amoongus. What's effective against Amoongus? What's Amoongus? I don't remember. Uh, I'll go with Golden Go, because Golden Go is pretty good. Also, wasn't we- weren't we supposed to be here at- after dark? For the fight? Uh, hmm. Let's make it rain. Okay. Also, that is lowering my special attack, so I need to be careful. Used Hex. The snow stopped. It was so- it was so epic, though, in the snow. It would have been even more epic in the dark as well. Oh, boy. Use Spore. Golden goes good as gold. Finish this off, please. We need one more- there's one more Pokemon left. And they're probably gonna dress lies. What's the last Pokemon? Quacks of Quavel. Okay. Okay. What's effective against water fighting, other than fighting... Maybe ice. So it might be beneficial to go with... the Lucario. For this fight. Quite possibly. Go Lucario. Heh, to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Quarvel. Ice isn't effective. Interesting. I thought it was. Also, it's not. Fighting isn't super effective. Very well. It seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. It's fine. It's all fine. Also, this might change how it goes. Because of him terrestrializing. Might actually be beneficial for me. Let's find out. The curry's loafing around. No. Do take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. Aqua step. Ouch. And the curry's not going to listen to me because it's not as friendly. No, it didn't change. I was hoping that ice would be effective because it's water type, but I guess that's not the case. I really thought ice was effective against water, but I guess not. Well, there goes the carrier. That's probably fine. Let's send in something that actually would actually be effective, rather than something that's not going to be effective. Oh, Dragonite Trust Lies. That sounds like a good plan. Let's go for it. Ice Spinner. Thunder. Nice, it's super effective. Qu Quaquavel fainted. Victory is ours.
How strong you have grown. 26,000. Well now, Master Jeremy. It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself, being the same person, was no lie to you. Mind you, Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they might be. That is, to, that is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not, ma do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cass Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve, but turns out you are strong as you, as strong as you are, you are, hang on, you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at sa saving that poor child, it is surely you. And an educator, educator, it shames. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia, take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an Ill illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself Facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, I, if I could just explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me! Your excuses reek worse than a stunkies behind. A, a stunkies behind? Ahem. The big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Master Jeremy. You write a letter of apology to the students at, and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to, to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no! Any, anything but that, I implore you! Well, there we go. Just gonna check that my Pokemon are all healed up again. Do we have to wait for it to be night or can we change the time? I don't think we can change the time. Right? How do, I, how do I, do I just wait? I don't know. Can I just go in and wait? Does the time move in the school? I don't know. A lot of things I don't know. It's a vicious cycle. It does appear that the sun is going down, I think, so we should be good. It's going down to the west, so it should be going down. Right? Perfect. First try. Just waiting for it to, waiting for the sun to go down. But I managed to get up here on first try, so that's pretty cool. Also, um, Director Clavel was there when we had the call from Cassiopeia the other time, but I, so I wouldn't have expected there to be communication going on with a pre-recording like that. So, uh, yeah. And that was what first. Got him interested, I'm pretty sure, so. At least didn't seem interested in talking about it with us beforehand anyway, so. Such a beautiful time. In the, in the, the twilight. Well, ethereal glow from my character. Am I a being from beyond this world? I think that's what it is. I think this is the journey of discovery about this whole thing. Oh, there it goes. Well, I'm feeling pretty confident that it's close enough, so let's go in.
Jeremy. Thanks for coming. Heh, yeah, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you, as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle their bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology, Miss Time had me, uh, I mean, preparations took long- took- took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after- ah, uh, no I mean- Is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you will accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see. The outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay. I will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I am the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now, bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. You were challenged by Penny of Team Star. Center Umbreon. Real fight starts now. Let's see how we go. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Level 62 starting off. Let's go ahead and use Dragon Pulse, I think. Baby Doll Eyes. Dragonite's attack fell. Well, that's not a good thing to have against me, so let's try and take it out, maybe. A bit more damage than that would be nice. Is there anything better for this? Oh boy, not really, apparently. I thought Gonongo had at least something. But maybe if I use my Hurricane, I might be better off. I'm going to avoid the attack, never mind. Dark Pulse. That's fine, let's just keep doing this then. Here we go. Also, this music. Music is really good. We pour in is next. What do I want to go with? Ground is tempting, but I don't think it's actually just- I don't think it's actually effective. I don't know why I think it would be. Also, I have three Steel Pokemon for some reason. I didn't realize that. Hang on, Vaporeon, I should stick with Dragonite. It would make sense. Let's use Thunder. Vaporeon avoided the attack, of course. And use Aurora Beam. Oh boy! Should probably heal. Hyper Potion's not gonna heal me as much as I'd like it to. Is there anything better than that? Not really. Unless I just use a max potion. Don't know. If I get hit this next turn, I'm probably gonna go down, so I should probably heal at least somewhat. i wait for my health to be lower before I use a max potion. Let's see how that goes for me. Although it would be nice to actually 
do something this turn. Yeah, I'm struggling. Uh, I can wait for him to miss. The Vaporeon, that is. Although I don't know how likely it is to miss. Roar Beam. Super effective. I'm really struggling. I think. Try, try to figure this out. It's not working very well. Let's thunder. There we go. Didn't do enough damage though. Roar beam. Dragonite fainted. Really should have thought that through a little bit more. If I trust lies, that might have been something, but I don't know what, how well that's going to go for the rest of the fight. Uh, let's go Lucario, even though you might not listen to me because you're level 78. My highest level Pokemon. Close combat. Baby doll eyes, that's fine. If the Cario will please do the thing, pretend not to notice. This is fine. I'll take care of this advantage for a little bit. Dragonite recovered from fainting. We're probably gonna use baby doll eyes. Because apparently it feels like it needs to. And the Picari pretended not to notice. Hydro Pump! I'm still standing. Hyper Potion. On Dragonite. This song is really good. Okay, close combat. Except I didn't have a chance, but that's fine. And Curry fainted. Let's send Dragonite back in there. Now that Dragonite has its full health again. Just need to hit this one shot with a 70% chance of missing, so. Nope, we got it. Cool. 30% chance of missing. Not that not 70. I'm pretty sure I said 70 for some reason. Okay. Next up is Jolteon. All the evolutions. Can't tell that they're a fan. So Jolteon, let's go with Whiskash. Seems wise, I would say. Maybe. I could be very wrong, but I, I think it's wise. I feel like this is a very anticipated fight in the game. Can you can't tell this is where it's going. Nice, nice, nice. Jolteon fainted. What evolution's next? When, why do I feel like the last Pokemon's gonna be an Eve, just a regular Eevee? Leafeon. Go Skeledurge. Okay. Let's use Overheat. Leaf Blade. Very nice. Special Tech harshly fell, but that's okay. Now what's left? Flareon. Interesting. Whiskash, you were born for this. This is a lot more manageable than Arvin was. Because I'm leveled enough. Okay, one Pokemon left after this as well. What's Earthquake? Maybe Doll Eyes. Oh, actually, maybe the last one's gonna be... Hang on, I have an idea what the last one's gonna be. Now, what do I want to switch to for that then? Uh... I guess... Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's Sylveon. Let's switch to Revavroom, I think. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. <laughs> I 
let's finish this with Gunk Shot. Time to terrestrialize, shine bright like a starry sky and become who you really want to be. This could be interesting. Depends what it changes to. Nope, it's still fairy. We're good, we're set, probably. I should have terrestrialized though. Unless the terrestrializing would not be the right type. Rover Room's attack fell. Gunk shot. Still worked, nice. You defeated Penny of Team Star. It's all over now. 15,000. It's finally over. Guys, it's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning and um, some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did did we, we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains pers persist in their tyrannous operation. Oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't ev even st send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Um, outfits must have must must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge sink stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired us ep epically. There's no way we're getting out off scot free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put up us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is... Thanks. Even though we were never... Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like you'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Jeremy. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought. Miss, uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if, if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the others that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could, uh, I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So, it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I had- I could use it to force Team Star to disband. 
because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea of, for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for... Apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit being... quit it with the old geezer act. Clive, you're creeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Haha! -ha! Director Clavel! Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But... but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their, te their teachers after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about the that wig. Ahem. Well, that's quite enough of, for, of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come out? Come on out. Huh? Yo, big boss, long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny? How you've- how have you been this whole time? Orty. We found you at last. You have, you've no idea how worried we've been. Eri. Okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses, your, you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You, ha you all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As Director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't, I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star, and about your sub subsequent actions. <laughs> ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessed, blessedly free from bullying. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll straight it, straight I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband, and my threat to expel those who did not obey, are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can st continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo, Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But... I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through it with a, through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. 
I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your pro 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 Your protracted truancy. Your brazen customization of school uniforms. Your unauthorized unauthor usage of academy equipment. Your reckless modification of jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your fla flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you will be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the SCT. No, STC. He's. I can read letters in the right order. It's <laughs> why. Why is it so difficult to read letters in the right order? And that stands for the Star Training Centers. They shall become facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to be f to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Jeremy battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no. It sounds like fun. So I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, since it since the SC, STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true, we would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can, all, we can go to school together too, that way if anything happens we'll be there to protect you. We, are, we were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a great deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. Jeremy, what do you think? I think it sounds great. Ha, huh, but, but, um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take t some time to decide. For now at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. I simply meant it uh, is time to, s to leave. Master Jeremy, please stop by my office later if you would. Well, let's go to the director's office, I guess. Hang on, which room is that? Director's office, right. The one that doesn't have a thing marked on it, of course. That's helpful. Ah, here you are, Master Jeremy. I wanted to thank you for your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I... I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad things I did. Thing I did. And what would that be? 
Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that, uh ha ha, I mean, er, I mean. I am really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. We'll have to consult Miss G uh, Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Jeremy, but I'll have to ask you, uh, you to give us some privacy. Go to the director's office again? Question mark? Was that long enough? If you ever need help with any school related matters, I shall be happy to lend an ear. I guess not. I can go back to the entrance and leave, I guess. See if there's anything new there. If we leave. Jeremy. Penny? There's something I want to talk about. Talk, talk to you about. Could you come meet me at, in front of the school? Stairs? You know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. Hasta la vista. The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league. Point system. But they're letting me off easy. That's great. The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate. If you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complaining or complimenting me. Like, a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet me meet like this. I'm still not so great with uh, people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um... Thank you. So much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done. So here. You obtained TM-169. Draco Meteor. So, comments, comments are summoned down from the sky onto the target. The reco recoil from this move harshly lowers the user's special attack stat. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the, the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Jeremy. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Starfall Street complete. I guess that's the end of that then. I don't think we need to go talk to Penny about the other operation we're working on at the moment. Which will, like, I don't think we can even look at it. Why does it want me to go back up the stairs? That's funny. But we'll, we'll get to that after we've done 
the last gym as well and gone to the Pokemon League, so... There's still definitely some more stuff for us to do. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.